Hello guys, and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today, what I'm going to be teaching you is something about uh, custom grass and basically how to set that all up for your worlds and stuff like that. Now, if you want entities to spawn on your grass, this is a common problem uh, throughout most of M Creator's history, and that basically came down to uh, missing support for a couple tags. Now, Minecraft recently, I think in 1.17, added a couple tags that would uh, basically allow you to bundle things like wolves and rabbits and uh, parrots, as well as animals like the cows and sheep and pigs and chickens, uh, under to basically generate on certain things. Um, most of these animals you see here, the wolves, the sheep, cows, and stuff have a, a grass block support. So we basically need to add that, our block, uh, to that tag so they also can spawn on those particular blocks. Um, it's not too hard to do in 1.18 uh, for as I tested. And the harder part is just basically getting the tag names correct and stuff like that. I've updated the biomes wiki page on amcrater.net to include the different blocks as well as the even the ones that are built in. I've actually looked at the code and basically deciphered what was the ones that the, the entities can actually spawn on initially as well as the tags that you need to use for the thing. So let's go into the M Crater and I'll basically just show you a couple things that you'll need to set up for your actual grass block so you guys can get that all started. It's not too difficult. Uh, your grass block will need a couple tags. Um, the one that you will need initially is just give it a second to load it's um just finishing up the client i'll cut back in in just a sec all right so there are a couple tags as i was saying if i have them under all under global uh things global tags on my mod so uh the first tag that you're going to need is one for dirt for forge so the namespace uh the registry name is just dirt it's under the forge namespace and then you will have the block um tag type and then you want to select your grass as well as your dirt uh for that particular block um this is just uh for certain mechanics within the forge um environment that require it uh the other one is minecraft dirt i've named it um something a little bit different between the two tags it's just a uh, forge dirt blocks and then i named minecraft dirt blocks but uh, i've basically renamed the registry name to just dirt uh the one with the minecraft one it's uh again dirt for the registry under the minecraft namespace and it's the the type of tag is blocks and i've also linked the two blocks uh, for the grass and dirt for those two here uh, those are important for certain mechanics for within the Minecraft namespace. So those are the two things that you need to do for that. Uh, then you have the other tags for the creatures and stuff like that. There's quite a few of them. Uh, animal, animals, oz, uh, ac, those um, little lizard things that they added recently in the Caves and Cliffs update. Foxes, goats, uh, mushrooms parrots polar bears um there's rabbits and wolves those are the current ones in 1.18 uh the other ones that are in here are prevent mob spawning i'll cover that in just a second and valid spawn blocks that one's uh specific for the player uh specifically but um or valid spawn should i say uh, the animals for chickens, pigs, cows, uh, sheep, those things, uh, most other entities, I'm pretty sure any vanilla Minecraft entity will also fall under this category uh, because it's uh, to considered an animal. So you would want to set up a namespace called, uh, re or the registry for animals underscore spawnable and then underscore on now what this will do is it will target that particular tag and allow you to add your um basically your dirt block to or pardon me your grass block to that particular namespace now this is basically controls all these tags basically control the um what kind of 
material like the blocks that the entities can spawn on top of so this is relatively new to the tags i think i saw it actually get added in in 1.17 i could be wrong it could be 1.16 but i'm pretty sure 1.17 is when it's been added in so any version before 1.17 won't be supported for this particular method uh, but um, it's pretty simple to set up. I will link to the page. Now, if you go onto the M Creator, uh, if you want to navigate there yourself, you would go to support and then to the form or not form, uh, the wiki home. And then you would navigate to, you basically search in biomes and you should have a thing how to make biomes come up in here. And then if you scroll down, we at the bottom here have added this section right in here, entity spawning tags. And they're all listed right here. So this one basically uh, is the one that we're currently looking at. You would want to add this for the registry. And now these all have to be under the Minecraft namespace. So make sure that they're on the, under the Minecraft namespace and that uh, they're a block tag type. So those are the only things that are important. The names the registry name are all displayed here. I also added little notes for the um, what what it basically does. So goat spawnables, and then there's the default blocks that that particular tag has support for. So in this case, uh, goats have support for stone, snow layers, which would that be that one? Snow blocks, packed ice, and gravel. Um, so all those information is added there, of course. Um, but yeah, so certain entities like wolves and stuff have their own ones uh, down here have wolves and you just basically need to add your grass block to that. And once you have all that set up, then what you can do is you can just basically test your world and all the entities should be basically spawning in no problem. So yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video and I will... Oh, actually, before I go, uh, there are two blocks that I almost forgot to mention. So the... Prevent mob spawning inside. Now this one can actually act very similar to how rails will not allow certain entities to spawn inside of the block. So uh, if you place rails down, then what happens is mobs in that particular space in that cube, because it's a trans kind of like a walk throughable block, uh, entities won't actually spawn there. So you could basically add your custom blocks to this namespace and it will basically allow you to uh, prevent mob spawning if there if it's a basically a clear block that um, basically it um, for example if it's uh, something like a candlestick or something and you don't want them to spawn in the candlestick uh, if it's on a block like uh, grass or something that it does have priority on then what you could do is you could basically put the candle under this particular namespace and then mobs won't spawn on that particular on the candle if it's basically um in that certain area so it's really handy uh when you're making things that you don't want things to actually cross over uh also i think entities will try to avoid going over that particular block as well similar to rails um, if you try to bring lead over an iron golem or something like that, then they'll try to avoid that particular block as much as they can, unless they do end up on the block and then they'll kind of go over it. So it's kind of like a nice little tag to work with. Uh, the other one, uh, valid spawn. This one is basically allows, uh, for, I believe I'm not, I don't know too much about it, but I'm, I get the impression that it's for the player when they first spawn in the world. Uh, for the spawn location, I guess it tries to find a place that it can actually spawn the player at. Uh, under some circumstances, for custom grass and stuff, you might want to set a valid spawn block for your actual uh, grass block that in your custom biomes and stuff like that. Reason being, if your biome just happens to be in a certain area, in the overworld, when the player does spawn, you might want to make sure that they can actually spawn on it. Uh, in that other case, then they might take be a little bit further away from the spawn location than if they were to have support for that particular block. Now, the only other block that is in this, I believe, is the grass block. If I just quickly go ahead and look at this, it is... Oh, two blocks. Uh, grass block, which is the... 
regular grass, and then there is Puzzle. So there's two blocks already in the list, which makes sense because Puzzle is pretty common biome to actually uh, find within certain biomes like uh, bamboo and the uh, redwood forest parts as well. So it makes sense to have both of those in there. But if you want to add custom biomes that have a uh, different grass type, then you would want to add it to this list as well. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.